welcome back to my shop. Today I set up this combined belt and disc sander BDS 250 by Record Power and I'd like to thank Machine Handel Meyer for providing me with this machine and as you said the setup was fairly straightforward even though not as straightforward as it could have been because not all the steps were described in the manual and I ran into one issue which was mounting this work table because there are threaded M6 screws that come with it and that should be used but it turned out that the holes in the base of the machine were not threaded so I couldn't use the screws that came with the machine Fortunately, I could improvise using some M5 screws that fit into the holes and some nuts, um, self-locking nuts at the back. But I don't know if this is just an issue of having uh, the record power having packed the wrong screws or if quality control didn't uh, notice that those holes were untapped. So I don't know, but I was lucky that I could work around it, um, but that is something that hopefully doesn't occur with every machine that gets into the hands of users. Um, apart from that, as you said, um, setting up takes about half an hour. You should read the manual as I did, step by step, and doing all the things in the provided order, because that makes things a lot easier. Um, not much is there to set up. You just mount the different accessories. Um, the belt was already mounted in my case and the traction of the belt and the tension of the belt was already fine as well. I just showed it in the video to show you how it works, but it wasn't really necessary to adjust the traction uh, of the belt, which controls that it's, it walks, it, it turns in a straight way and doesn't move to the sides. So that was all fairly straightforward. My overall impression of this machine is very good. It's very sturdy, very powerful. Um, it's very heavy. It weighs about 50 kilos, which is uh, the reason for which is that most of the parts are of, made of metal. Um, the base is cast iron. The work table is cast iron. All those hinges and the supports for those hinges are cast iron parts. The miter gauge is out of iron with an aluminum um, fence to it. So everything is really sturdy and well uh, and very robust. Um, the only parts that are of, of plastic are these covers here and they are just that. They cover just the motor block and so on. So it's not really important that they be of metal, but everything else makes a really strong and robust impression. And I'm really looking forward to putting this machine to use. I used it with my Record Power dust extractor and as you saw in the video, um, when you use the belt sander or the disc sander, most of the dust actually gets sucked out. If you do the sanding um, back here at the rounded edge, then of course there is not much that the, suck, the dust extractor can do because it sucks from this side and if you sand on this side obviously there is not much you can do so the dust flies all over the place. But it seems that the dust extractor gets out a lot of dust um, without the dust actually setting in, in the air or something. Uh, there was a little pile of dust underneath the machine when I moved it, but apart from that, it seems that dust extraction works, works fairly well. Although I have to say that I'm not very experienced with such kinds of, such kind of machines, so it could be that it's average, it could be below or above average, I don't know, because that's the first machine in this regard that I'm actually using. Now, I'm looking forward to setting this machine up in my shop. I still have to find a permanent place for it. For the moment, it will just sit on a little mobile cart um, and then I hopefully get a place on a workbench somewhere in the corner for it. And I hope you enjoyed the setup video and got some impressions of what the machine is about, how it works, how you have to set it up if you're looking into getting the one yourself. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up or share it with your friends or leave me a comment. If you have any questions about the machine, feel free to leave me a comment as well. And apart from that, I thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you back soon. And always remember to watch, learn and then make something.